Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. We are in Deuteronomy chapter 6 of the Jehovah's Witness version of the Bible. Let's dig into it. Now, these are the commandment, the regulations and the judicial decisions that Jehovah your God has commanded to teach you, so as to do them in the land which you are passing over there to take possession of it in order that you may fear Jehovah your God so as to keep all his statutes and his commandments that I am commanding you, you and your son and your grandson all the days of your life, and in order that your days may prove long. And you must listen, O Israel, and take care to do them, that it may go well with you, and that you may become very many, just as Jehovah the God of your forefathers has promised you. As respects the land flowing with milk and honey, Listen, O Israel, Jehovah, our God, is one Jehovah, and you must love Jehovah, your God, with all your heart, and all your soul, and all your vital force. All your vital force. And these words that I am commanding you today must prove to be on your heart, and you must inoculate them in your son, and speak of them when you sit in your house, and when you walk on the road, and when you lie down, and when you get up. And you must tie them as a sign upon your hand, and they must serve as a frontlet band between your eyes. And you must write them upon the doorposts of your house and on your gates. And it must occur that when Jehovah your God will bring you into the land that he swore to your forefathers Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to give you great and good-looking cities that you did not build. Ooh, notice that. That you didn't build. So they get it even though they didn't build it. And if you build it. Doesn't mean it can't be taken away from you and given to someone else. And the houses full of all good things. And that you did not fill and cisterns hewn out. That you did not hew out. Vineyards and olive trees that you did not plant. And you shall have eaten and become satisfied. Watch out for yourself, that you may not forget Jehovah, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slaves. Jehovah, your God, you should fear, and him you should serve, and by his name you should swear. You must not walk after other gods, any gods of the peoples who are all around you. For Jehovah, your God, in your midst is a God exacting exclusive devotion. For fear the anger of Jehovah your God may blaze against you, and he must annihilate you from off the surface of the ground. And you must not put Jehovah your God to the test. The way you put him to the test at Massa, you should by all means keep the commandments of Jehovah your God and his testimonies and his regulations that he has commanded you. And you must do what is right and good in Jehovah's eyes, in order that it may go well with you, and you may indeed enter, and take possession of the good land about which Jehovah has sworn to your forefathers, by pushing away all your enemies from before you, just as Jehovah had promised. In case your son should ask you in a future day, saying, what do the testimonies and the regulations and the judicial decisions mean that Jehovah our God has commanded you? Then you must say to your son, We became slaves to Pharaoh in Egypt, but Jehovah proceeded to bring us out of Egypt with a strong hand. So Jehovah kept putting signs and miracles, great and calamitous, upon Egypt, upon Pharaoh, and upon all his household before our eyes. And he brought us out from there in order that he might bring us here to give us the land about which he had sworn to our forefathers. Hence Jehovah commanded us to carry out all these regulations, to fear Jehovah our God for our good always, that we might keep alive as at this day. And it will mean righteousness for us, that we take care to do all this commandment before Jehovah our God, just as he has commanded us. Okay, that was six. Now we're in seven of Deuteronomy. When Jehovah your God at last brings you into the land to which you are going so as to take possession of it, 
He must also clear away populous nations from before you. Clear away populous nations. The Hittites and the Girgashites and the Amorites and the Canaanites and the Pezazites and the Hivites and the Jebusites. Seven nations more populous and mighty than you are. And Jehovah your God will certainly abandon them to you. And you must defeat them. You should, without fail, devote them to destruction. You must conclude no covenant with them, nor show them any favor. And you must form no marriage alliance with them. Your daughter you must not give to his son, and his daughter you must not take for your son. For he will turn your son from following me, and they will certainly serve other gods. And Jehovah's anger will indeed blaze against you. And he will certainly annihilate you in a hurry. On the other hand, this is what you should do to them. Their altars you should pull down. And their sacred pillars you should break down. And their sacred poles you should cut down. And their graven images you should burn with fire. For you are a holy people to Jehovah your God. It is you Jehovah your God has chosen to become his people. A special property out of all the peoples that are on the surface of the ground. Mm, out of all the peoples. So following the regulations that he prescribes. It was not because of your being the most populous of all the peoples that Jehovah showed affection for you. So that he chose you. For you were the least of all the peoples, but it was because of Jehovah's loving you and because of his keeping the sworn statement that he had sworn to your forefathers, that Jehovah brought you out with a strong hand that he might redeem you from the house of slaves, from the hand of Pharaoh the king of Egypt. And you well know that Jehovah your God is the true God, the faithful God, keeping covenant and loving kindness in the case of those who love him and those who keep his commandments to a thousand generations. But repaying to his face the one who hates him by destroying him, he will not hesitate toward the one who hates him. He will repay him to his face. And you must keep the commandment and the regulations and the judicial decisions that I am commanding you today by doing them. And it must occur that because you continue listening to these judicial decisions, and you do keep them and do carry them out, Jehovah your God must keep toward you the covenant and the loving kindness about which he swore to your forefathers. And he will certainly love you and bless you and multiply you and bless the fruit of your belly and the fruit of your soil, your grain and your new wine and your oil, the young of your cows and the progeny of your flock on the soil that swore to your forefathers to give to you, the most blessed of all the peoples you will become. There will not prove to be in you a male or a female without offspring, nor among your domestic animals. And Jehovah will certainly remove from you every sickness. And as for all the evil diseases of Egypt that you have known, he will not place them upon you, and he will indeed put them upon all those who hate you, and you must consume all the peoples whom Jehovah your God is giving to you. Your eye must not feel sorry for them, and you must not serve their gods, because that will be a snare to you. And in case you say in your heart, These nations are too populous for me. How shall I be able to drive them away? You must not be afraid of them. You should by all means remember what Jehovah your God did to Pharaoh and all Egypt the great provings that your eyes saw, and the signs and the miracles, and the strong hand and the outstretched arm with which Jehovah your God brought you out. That is the way Jehovah your God will do to all the peoples before whom you are afraid. And Jehovah your God will also spend the feeling of dejection upon them, until those perish who were let remain, and who were concealing themselves from before you. You must not suffer a shock because of them, for Jehovah... Your God is in your midst, a great and fear-inspiring God. 
Okay, we're at the 10 minute mark. We'll pause it there.